What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about my favorite products for the month of June, and I want to share them with you because I'm a friend. Okay? I guess I'm just a good friend. <laughs> So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nats and I want my channels to be a space where we take an as realistic and true but also fun approach to beauty. So if that sounds like something that you could sign up for, you should subscribe. I'm just saying, I do only cruelty free beauty. I post twice a week. I do both skincare and makeup, so you're getting it all. And I think that was pretty much my offer. Also, one thing to keep in mind, if you're following a lot of small accounts, engagement is everything for us. So whether that's a like, a comment, or just sending away an emoji in the comments, it means the world to us because engagement means that YouTube sees that our material, you know, people like our material, meaning they will spread it across the platform, meaning we will get more views, which we deserve, you know? Small creators rock. That was it. Let's get in to my monthly favorites. So I have a bunch of products today. I'm gonna try to get through them quick because I don't want this to be like a 30 minute long video. Let's start with skincare. First of all is this Beauty Pie Plantastic Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm. A friend of mine actually gave this to me. I've never tried anything from Beauty Pie, but they're one of those weird subscription things that like, you know, you can buy the product one-on-one, -on -one, but if you do, I think that this one is like around 50 bucks. But if you have a subscription with them and like pay a small monthly fee, you get the products for like a lot less I think this is like $15 instead of 50 anyways I'm not subscribed I haven't bought this myself she accidentally ordered double so she gave me one which is like what this cleansing balm first of all I wish you guys could smell this 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 I uh, it smells well it smells of apricot but it's such a like fresh shower scent but it's very fruity and let me show you this texture if i can just if i can just see this is the thing with biting your nails you can never open packaging look at this amazing wait oh is this not an orgasm to the eyes i'm sorry but it's a very liquidy balm so it, it's not sturdy or hard at all as you can see if i pick up this little lid that was on it um, it's very like just very soft very liquidy very buttery and it's very 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 good with removing makeup I use waterproof mascara it gets it all away it gets it all away that's a good grade so highly recommend this if you're subscribed to beauty pie you really need to try this you really need to try this next up is my new vitamin C serum and I talked about this in my AM routine video and that I will do a full-on review a video just for this product uh, but I wanted to mention it because I've been using it now for the past month month and a half and wow listen my skin is dull my skin is dull and it is dry and it is textured and I have found things to fix the texture the AJ and I have found things to fix the dryness just ceramides and heavy creams and also a hydrated skin. I haven't really found something to just fix the dullness. You know, when I say dullness, it's just like my skin is just flat in a weird way. I can't explain it. Vitamin C though. This has made my skin naturally so much glowier. It's not, it's not one of those unnatural edited glows, but it's just, there's just a little subtle little, it's a little thing about it nowadays when I don't wear makeup, but it's just, a little extra healthy youthful content you know what I mean it has also evened out my skin tone so I used to have a little bit of darkness right here that is completely gone the reason why I'm waiting to review this is I want to give it another month or two to see if it can do anything about the little sunspots that I've got going on on my cheeks and on my nose which are hyper hyperpigmentation uh, <laughs> so that's why I'm, I'm using this a little bit more until I give you my full review the thing about this one is that it has basically the exact same formula as the skin SkinCeuticals vitamin c which is like the most known potent vitamin c on the market but that one is 150 dollars and it's not cruelty free this one is 27 dollars and it is cruelty free it's just a no-brainer right next up is a serum this is a mandelic pigmentation corrector night serum from allies of skin 
if you haven't heard about Allies of Skin, they're a little bit of a bougie, bougie um, brand. Their, their products are very expensive. They're like in between 80 to 150 bucks. I use it at night. Uh, after I cleanse, after I tone, I put this on, I let it sit for a while and then I do my moisturizer or my night cream and I go to bed and when I wake up, I just, there's a little bit more glow. There's, there's been, you can see there's been exfoliation happening. It's just, I like Allies of Skin because their formulas seem so like just complex in a good way. This one has mandelic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. And whereas I'm usually not really for those concoctions of different acids, because I just feel like, you know, just pick one for the issue that you had, you know? But this one is formulated in a way that it doesn't really bother my skin. So I like it. I like it. I got this in PR, duh. Would I pay a hundred bucks to buy it myself? Put it this way, if I had, if I had a, you know, specific section of my wallet dedicated to skincare, if I had quite a lot of money and if I liked bougie products, I would buy it. I would. But since I'm not there, you know, I'm, I'm unemployed, I would probably buy the Ordinary Serum instead, which works fine too. But if I was a rich bitch, then I would buy this. Next up is two huge new favorites. And those are two SPFs that are affordable and that are great. And they're from a brand called Dermatology. I don't know if I've talked about these on my channel before. I'm not sure. I know I talked about them on Instagram. So Dermatology is a brand based in somewhere in California. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Europe yet. I'm so sorry. So this is for all my American friends. You know what these cost? The, these are both 50 mil. They cost 20 bucks each and the formulas are great. I actually bought these myself, so I didn't even get them in PR because I was trying to find an SPF for my husband that was kind of like the Elta MD one, the tinted one, and I was Googling uh, affordable cruelty-free options for the Elta MD one. Who the fuck is blowing up my phone? My brother. <laughs> um, I was looking for cruelty-free affordable options for the Elta MD one, and I found their tinted moisturizer SPF 46, uh, which is anti-aging, oil-free. I believe it's a mix between chemical and physical SPF, so it has both. Yes, that's true. Um, and this is what it looks like. So you see that? A little bit tinted. And then you massage it in and it basically disappears into nothing. Just a nice, fresh, you know, uh, glow. And then this is the... Uh, broad spectrum SPF 45 anti-aging the clear one as I said just like that and then once you massage it in which goes pretty quickly it leaves no white cast which is important and another thing that is very important to me is that you know I my skin is very um, likely to get congested I get blackheads whiteheads breakouts and especially from SPF. That's the thing, right? Because SPF is one of those <sighs> devil products in a sense, like you know you need it because it protects you from the sun, which can give you cancer and it ages you, but you also know that it's gonna clog your skin up. Like, it's annoying. These two don't, they're amazing. I also bought their body SPF, which I'm bringing with me for our long weekend upstate. So I have three other products, they're all amazing. I, I, yeah, I don't know what to say. They're affordable, cruelty-free, and and just very nice, good formulas. The next is another SPF. This one I use in my AM routine as well, but I wanted to quickly mention it because I've had this one before. This is the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SPF 50. It's oil-free like the other ones I just showed you. It's fragrance-free. It's very light. The dermatology ones are like if you imagine a regular moisturizer. That's the thickness of them. Um, I, when I use the dermatology ones, I don't use a moisturizer underneath because they're so moisturizing in themselves. This one is like a light lotion. It is so light. You can't really see, but like, it's literally like a lotion. Like it just disappears into your skin, which makes it very easy to actually use the amount that you need to use on your face and your neck, which is half a teaspoon that you 
you need for your face and your neck to actually protect you from the sun. Don't forget that. And if you find it difficult to apply that much of SPF on your face, do it in layers. That's my tip. This is amazing. Uh, this is very much a summertime SPF. I mean, I can use these for summertime too. Uh, this is like if you're very oily, if you want something light and good, great. Or if you're dry and if you want a, just something really light for summertime, these ones, I'm dry, I can use them for summertime too, but they also work through fall and kind of far into winter. Next up is a base product. This is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. Um, I'm actually wearing this right now because I just filmed my three best tinted moisturizers for summer that everyone needs to try. Um, and this is one of them. This, uh, you know how there's like with tinted moisturizers, there's like a little bit of more coverage and then there's a little bit of less coverage. This is a little bit of more coverage. Still, it's very light. Um, it sinks into the skin. It gives me like a very light glowy finish. It's like somewhere in between glowy and satin. It's very skin like and it's my exact skin color. This is beige camel. It's very olivey, a very green in this undertone, which is hello. So <laughs> I can highly recommend this. Doesn't matter what skin type you have. If you're oily, you can use this. If you're dry, you can use this. If you're normal, you can use it. It's, it's, it's just Mwah. chef's kiss. Next up is a mascara. And this is the <laughs> CoverGirl Total Tease Waterproof Mascara. The thing about mascaras is I, I like to say that I have tiny baby lashes, but I realize that they're maybe not tiny. They're probably like normal length, but I would like for them to be long. But <laughs> with this one, when I curl them, and you know when you curl your lashes and they just stand right up? And then I apply this, and then they stay like that all day. It, like, seriously, they don't move a degree. They, they, and no fallout, no smudge, nothing. It just, it stays like this. And as you can see, they're very, like, fluffy. And the thing about mascara is, it's like, I like thin ones because the fact that I have tiny baby lashes. So, and then on top you see that little tiny one thing that I use like just on my inner corner and on my outer corner too. It's just, I, I, I just, I think I found my mascara and I haven't found my mascara up until now. And now I have and it's drugstore. Amazed. Next up is a bronzer that I've been using so much this month. I've been using it like in all my makeup tutorials, which is basically the only time I've done makeup, but I've used it in all of them. <laughs> this is the Make the Make Vitamin C Compact Bronzer. I've had this before, but I had it in a darker shade, which didn't really suit me. I really like a lighter shade of bronzer, so it's very easy to not overdo it, basically, because I hate when I overdo it with bronzer. Now I have it on me too. <laughs> you can see that it's just, it looks, I'm comparing it to my hand because my face is not a lot darker than my hand. That's what I'm trying to show you. It's their lightest shade. It's SB1, but it, it suits me so well. And I love it, especially with their bronzer brush. So I just, I think I showed this before, but let's do it again. I just do this, tap it off, and then I can like just go on my entire face. And as I said, I just can't overdo it. It's just the perfect shade for me. It's a perfect shade. That hacking noise in the background, that's my husband making me a margarita. Next up is another product from Make The Make. If I didn't tell you, Make The Make are a Swedish skincare brand. They do ship worldwide. I don't know what happens with taxes and like toll costs and things like that. I, I, I don't know, but you can order them from anywhere. They basically say that their makeup is makeup infused skincare. So it's basically skincare that has color to it. Uh, this is their Ceramide Elastic Concealer. I love this. This is in the shade N4. And the reason why I love it is it's kind of my exact same skin. It's my shade. Is that what it's called? It's the same lightness slash darkness as my skin, but it has another undertone. It's a tad bit more pink, meaning that it works great to just slightly brighten up and cover up the little bit of dark under I have got going on. It's very creamy. Does it have the longest durability? 
longevity? No, absolutely not. A, a matte full coverage concealer will last you longer. This is a dewy low coverage one. So, you know, if I wear this out, I definitely bring it with me so that I can touch up, but natural dewy love it last two makeup products are also two products from a swedish brand this is isadora this is a highlighting stick this is a blush stick the blush stick is in 08 pink pop and the oh my god i use this so much that i it's all gone away uh 34 dewy nude okay i have this blush in the like orange peachy shade too which i love that too but I use this in one of my tutorials. I didn't think that I would like it because I'm not very much for like cool, um, cool tone pinks. But I use it in that tutorial and I was like, you know what? I actually really, really like this on me. This, I like this pink shade because it gives me like this very alive skin tone. <laughs> Because I am dull and I do have a very uh, olivey undertone, my skin tends to look even duller and just dead. This is the opposite. This is giving me a rosy, healthy, fresh cheek. Love it. And then, I mean, I talked about this one a lot, uh, especially on my Instagram, the Dewy Nude Stick. This is my, um, this is my replacement for my RMS highlighters. Um, this is also drugstore. I don't know if you can find it in the States. I know that they used to sell here. I'm not sure. I will link it below so you can check. Uh, but this is one of those very, I already had it on me. So whatever you saw before, that is, this is it. Um, it's a very dewy, sweaty, natural type of glow. The type of glow that oily girls already have, that us dry skin girls. Need to fake love it okay guys that was it for my june monthly favorites or my favorites for the month of june <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up give it a comment ask something let me know i answer all my comments <laughs> that was that was all i wanted to say i will hopefully see you in the next one